Good morning. My name is Jennifer Kunze, and I'm a concerned resident of Baltimore City. I want to thank you for the opportunity to testify today. However, I wish that none of us were here and that the regulations that I and so many people in this room testified in favor of last year were in place right now like they should have been. Governor Hogan promised that his replacement regulations would be as strong or stronger than those, but he broke that promise with rules that won't make the most polluting coal plants in the state clean up their act. And that has completely unacceptable consequences for the health of people across Maryland. I see many of these consequences in the after-school classes I teach at a small community center in East Baltimore, an area that bears the brunt of the health impacts of pollution, especially of asthma. In my outdoor classes, I've experienced having kids unable to catch their breath after playing outside during the summer, or unwilling to play outside in the first place, justifiably, for fear of an asthma attack. And it's frankly terrifying to see that happening to my students. Tomorrow, our neighborhood's going to be rebuilding its playground, a project six years in the making. And if this hearing weren't taking place and we weren't all here, I would be there helping get the site ready. I'm so excited to see this space redeveloped as a safe and healthy place for kids to play outside. But you can't call it safe when something invisible like air pollution makes it dangerous for kids to play there. At a meeting at the neighborhood school a few months ago to choose the playground equipment, one of my third grade students was asked, when you play outside, how do you feel? She responded, kind of sad, because in the summertime, my asthma acts up. What the MDE decides about these regulations has real life-threatening and terrifying results for the kids, adults, um, kids and adults across the state of Maryland. No kid should have to grow up in fear of their own bodies betraying them like that for the simple act of playing outdoors. And the regulations we are considering today will result in 21 to 35% more pollution than the rules we considered last year. That's why the MDE must protect Baltimore and Maryland citizens by reinstating the previous regulations to protect my students and all the people of Maryland from unacceptable pollution hazards. Thank you.